Hello, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. Today we're gonna do a a, a Q and A while I get ready. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions, and I have them in front of me. I don't think there are too many, so I think I'm gonna have to do a very simple makeup look. Um, but yeah, let's get started. So the first question says, how did you get the courage to put up? your first post when you decided to go public. I think the way that I got into posting content was very like organic and it was very like uh, tiered, like it was in stages almost even though I didn't like plan it that way. Uh, but initially I posted only statics and it was like of the makeup already done. So that time um, it didn't feel like too invasive or weird like because I was just posting pictures of myself and at that time everyone was posting just pictures of themselves from Instagram. It didn't feel like too much and then when lockdown happened like in COVID time a lot of people got the opportunity and time to start learning how to do video content and I also started doing it that time so it didn't really feel like I was jumping into the deep end like from the beginning it felt very organic like I would only do what I was comfortable with like even when posting a lot of video content I would make sure to do a lot of carousels and something else that I think like really helped me was uh, whoever I thought would like have an issue with the way that I was posting on Instagram and stuff I just blocked them because I just like I wanted to do what I wanted to do um, and this included my parents and stuff but after I started like you know doing well on the platform I let them back into my account so that they could see that this was not just like me fooling around so that also really helped me by the way before you ask this is the Bint Beauty um, brush it is double ended so it's like my It Cosmetics brush but it's slightly different we're gonna use like classic me kind of products today because i just feel like it someone said will you buy rare beauty concealer after its launch at sephora i did want to you know like when i went to london i was like looking for it everywhere i would go to um all the stores that i knew stocked rare beauty and try to find my color but they just didn't have my shade and then i think because I was and I would try it on right and because I was trying on the wrong shade it didn't really look very nice so that made me feel like what's the point of this and I ended up getting like other concealers from different brands so I might just skip it for the time being but maybe later I might buy it but are you guys like really excited about how rare beauty is coming to India because I don't fully understand the hype maybe because I've not tried the products before um yeah like how do you feel about it so this question is where do i see myself in five years i don't like this question because what is the point of planning for the future but like and i don't know specifically what kind of things are going to happen in my life but i can instead answer it from the perspective of the kind of person i want to become because i think no matter like what happens the only thing you can control is like how you are and how you view life. I want to be at a place where I'm like much more comfortable in my relationships. Like I don't want any conflict or any weird energy with any person. I want to have a better like relationship with me and my own confidence. Like I think that I get really insecure about random things for absolutely no reason and I want that to change. I want to be able to learn a bunch of different skills by that time. I don't know what skills they are but yeah I want to like be like really a different version of myself like much more comfortable with my life and what's happening in my life at that point because um, like right now things are okay but I know there are certain things I wish were different and I wish I was more like proactive and initiative taking so I hope I've like garnered that skill that kind of stuff I can tell you but I honestly don't know what's gonna happen in my life because I don't think we can control that <laughs> like as much as you can make decisions as to like where you want your life to go how things play out is ultimately I feel like not something you can fully control makeup products you used in high school what do you miss using now from back then i think i used a lot of kajal 
in high school i think it was because of the first product that i was introduced to um in terms of makeup because of my mom so i think i really actually miss kajal um especially because i used to like water my i mean um line my waterline every single day like every single day i used to wear it and so i kind of miss that but i do know that if i do that now i feel like it just doesn't look the same because i used to do it just on the underline and not on top so it made me kind of look like really weird and disproportionate but i miss kajals in general i'm going to just apply a little bit more concealer i feel like that didn't do much i'm going to let this sit actually actually there's some new hack right where you like blend in your concealer with a brush that has setting powder on it let's try that i think it's meant to make it more like high coverage that kind of worked but also kind of didn't let me know if you like this style of video where i'm like doing my makeup and talking to you I know that YouTube used to be big on these videos. I don't know what happened. Someone said, "How's your experience transitioning from ma from handling a brand to being one?" It's I think I put a lot of pressure on myself, but I really enjoy being able to like do what I really like doing every day. And I think that when you're a brand, you take like the mandates way more seriously. Like you use every single font every color like you're just very more, much more like on top of the design language and even messaging sometimes when it's like an individual like for me because I'm an individual I feel like I allow myself more freedom and I don't necessarily why am I just not doing any makeup yeah I don't necessarily like uh, make sure I follow it every single time or something I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing um but yeah i find that managing a brand is a little bit more difficult in terms of um uh, like the content side because that's what i did um, when i was managing a brand because i feel like people don't really want to consume content from a brand they much prefer individual content so it was way more difficult for us to like get the kind of reach that um an individual person's content would reach um i don't know why that is but it just is like that i think uh but that's just my hypothesis um and i find that like being an individual i can get more like reach on my content but i'm not as strict with my um mandates and vision and mission and all that does that make sense but it's fun because you're not so strict about it because i think that's more realistic to everyday life and reality if you are watching this part then i want you to tell me how do you think you as a viewer like the experience of my account now versus when i was working a job my favorite youtubers i feel like right now initially i was really obsessed with hey claire claire marshall um, she's kind of left youtube now and my current favorite is my fam because it blows my mind how young she is and she is like so on top of her game it's quite inspirational if you don't look at it feeling insecure about yourself then it's really inspirational but it also trips my mind thinking that she's like the same age as my brother like it's so weird a couple of other people i really like is there's this um, other like channel it's not an influencer but it's more like It is a YouTube channel so it's called Daily Stoic. I really like him. He's an author. Um he's written a bunch of books all like on the topic of stoic stoicism. There's this UK YouTuber called Becca Watson. I really like her for her productivity content. I really like what is her name? Anna Newbert, Newbert. She also does productivity content. I love Bailey Sarian for true crime content. I think you you already know that. What are your thoughts on hustle culture promoted by many influencers? I don't think you need to hustle just to like prove to yourself that you're as good as them. I think hustle is great if you are driven by your own like motivation and reasoning. And I think at the end of the day you should do what works for you like you should be able to take rest and you should be able to prioritize your mental health and do whatever your mind and body needs 
for yourself like don't just do it because other people are doing it that's really another reason why i don't like this it girl routine because i feel like it's just one single definition of like a healthy routine that every girl on youtube seems to be following when in reality we all are different and we all need different things like maybe one of us is really into dancing and that makes it into my it girl routine someone asked my educational background i don't know why i get asked my educational background so much when i've already like spoken about it so much i think i answer it in every q a video and almost like every alternate q a i do on instagram but i have done economics at stella maris in chennai and then I did my international business at Warwick University in the UK and then I started working for Fay. I headed the design and community engagement team for like three and a half years and then I worked at Cult for a few months as a senior content creative strategist and now I do content full time. Someone said, how is it staying with your parents? Basically, it's nice. I get like all the convenience of living at home and all the like advantages. I really like that I uh, have all of the resources that I do have just as a result of living with my parents. But a drawback, a significant one is that you uh, don't feel as individualistic as like maybe someone that lives alone what did you work as before becoming a content creator i just kind of answered that is there a celeb or social media person that you take inspo from for your personal style for my personal style there's not like one person uh because i feel like i just go on pinterest and uh whichever style i'm feeling i just kind of copy that um yeah so there's never like just one person i feel lethargic every day how do you manage to stay consistent i think uh you just gotta push yourself uh but first you need to look into like if you have any reasons for your lethargy like you could be anemic you could be lacking some vitamins and minerals so once you clear that I think that you automatically feel a lot more energetic like for the longest time i was feeling really down and um, unenthusiastic about life and turns out I just didn't have enough like vitamin B and apart from that I think as long as you're doing something you actually like doing every single day you will automatically feel energetic and if you're not then you need to change your mindset because how you think really affects your purview of life like if you're constantly just thinking negatively then you're going to feel lethargic if you're like thinking positively i think you'll feel very energetic about a friend or person you no longer feel connected to and how you deal or move on from it i think i've lost a lot of friendships sometimes you lose it without like a proper explanation and there's never like any closure but i think it's a lesson that we all have to learn like you cannot get closure in every situation and you just have to like move on from it without having answers yeah and i think again you need to just think positively about that experience instead of like letting it bring you down you can instead think like what did you learn from this person how how it was the best like relationship or friendship that you've had despite the way that it ended um how you're gonna like make your mindset like fix your mindset around this new reality of like not having this person in your life anymore you owe it to yourself to like move on you're gonna meet people and nobody may ever replace that person but i think that that's also the beauty of it like sometimes people enter your life for just a particular season to teach you something this sounds so cliche i sound like a pinterest post but it's true like sometimes they just come for a short period and then they bounce and maybe that was saving you from something you know yeah there's so many unanswered things you just have to like find your peace with the unanswered things like what helps me move on from it is genuinely just keeping myself busy um focusing on the other relationships i want to like continue having um i do like maybe something new something different that i maybe didn't do before when i was friends with this person uh to like give myself a change in routine sometimes even like changing your atmosphere going on a trip uh that kind of stuff also really helps so yeah just 
and also journaling and talking about it in therapy. You said you completed your college at Stella Maris. Did that help you to grow further in your job aspect? I feel like what I do now, although it's like very related in some ways to my to my undergrad and my postgrad, it's not directly related to it. Um, I think maybe like one percent applies. So, and I think that's the case with a lot of people I know, like we don't necessarily like do a job in the field that we study. I chose not to do a job in that field because while I was studying, I kind of realized that I didn't like it. Does that make sense? Um, and in the way I kind of found that I really liked what I kind of eventually ended up doing, which was branding, social media, design, communication. Yeah, so that... I think I had to go through that experience of studying a degree in economics and even international business for me to kind of realize what I liked. As I said, I didn't get a lot of questions. So we're gonna end this video here. I hope you enjoyed chilling with me, hanging with me. Definitely answer the questions that I asked you. I don't remember the questions now, but I do remember asking them. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Um, and yeah let me show you a proper like clip of my makeup the light was just making it so weird but it's looking nice yeah simple you know i think i should have done a different lip to match the eyeshadow but we're trying to become a little bit more comfortable with the discomfort of doing things you don't like so yeah this is the final look i hope you enjoyed Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you next week. Bye.